Hello, my name is Brian. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can mark email, how you can mark emails as non-spam so that they can move from your junk to your inbox. Okay. I kind of get a lot of emails in my junk box and I struggle how to move them in inbox. So today I'm going to share with you how I do it in the easier way. Okay. Now, when you look at Gmail, you realize in a Gmail, if emails come in a spam, you just have to tick on this, then you click on not spam. But in a webmail, in some webmails, actually in some versions, you don't have an option to click on an email and mark it as not, not spam. Okay, so that the next time, this email is not come in a spam box. Okay, so if you're having a problem like this, like me, you're going to do this. You're going to go in your cPanel because this setting, you can do it within your webmail. Unfortunately, webmail doesn't have that functionality. Some webmails don't have that functionality. So if you're facing this problem, you're going to go to your cPanel, okay? Now, if you don't have a cPanel, you have to ask your hosting company to give you a cPanel. A cPanel looks like this, okay? So when I'm logged in in my cPanel, my cPanel looks like this, okay? I have to find a section called spam filters, okay? So I'm going to click on spam, sorry, email filters, okay, sorry. Let me go back. You have to look for spam filters, okay? So let me click on spam, spam filters. When you click on spam filters, you're going to look for a section called spam threshold, okay? That is the first thing you have to do, okay? So when you go to the spam threshold, you realize like my setting was sent to one, which is a bit aggressive. So it's making most of the emails to be uh, termed as spam. Because if you look in my webmail, if you open this email, you realize this email is actually a Gmail, but it's coming into spam, okay? It's kind of terrible because that is a Gmail but actually it's coming into the spam. So, so guess what? I'm going to come here and I'm going to say, if your spam threshold in your spam was sent to one, it's kind of aggressive. Most of the emails will be termed as spam. So you have to put it on four, okay? Move it from one to four, then you click on update. So it means the server will recognize most of the emails known as spam, otherwise one, is kind of too aggressive. Now, if your setting was already at four, what you may have to do is, you, let me go back to the tools. If, if your server was set at four, so what you do, you have to come to the spam filters. For you, you may have to go for an option called uh, whitelisting, okay? You just whitelist an email from the spam, okay? So you have to go to the additional configurations here. Then you click on, edit spam listing settings, okay? Then you can click on add new. So add new, you have to capture the email, which is being sent into the spam. So let me say, I don't want this email to be coming to my spam or my junk box. I can copy it from here, okay? Then I can come and paste it here. So actually, when you click on update white list, it means this email, always emails from this email will be sent into your inbox instead of the junk box. You just have to click on update white list, okay? So, but this you do it when your spam score is at four. If it's at one, you just have to make it at four, okay? If you it's at four, no need to use the spam filters, okay? So the quick fix to that, just make sure your spam threshold in the cPanel is set to four instead of one, okay? Thank you, and if you find this video useful, you can leave me a comment, you can like my video, you can give me a subscription, I would like to have your subscription from you, and bye-bye.